Hello everybody, and today I am reaching out to you from the future of photography, and it is artificial and intelligent. Mmm. Oh, that is good. I am enjoying today a very lovely East Timor coffee from Tributary Roasting Company in Gunnison, Colorado. That is really delightful. Very bright flavor in that. Very fruity and bright. So before we get started, I uh, just wanted to let you know today is September 10th, and uh, I have a link in the description to a Wikipedia article that has a bunch of resources in it for those of you who are struggling. September 10th is Suicide Prevention Awareness Day here in the U.S. I've known a number of people who have elected to do that. Um, it's always a challenge, and I think every one of them probably would have come out of where they were um, better, happier. Um, so I know that a lot of people out there the last few years have been very hard on people and that it has been very wearing. So if you're in that position, what I would like you to do is take a look at the Wikipedia article and find a resource in your country where you can obtain help. The key to this is if you are struggling and in a position where you feel like your option is suicide, uh, please take a look at those resources and reach out to one of them first. And do that just for the future you, because there can be one. So let's get on today with today's subject. Uh, about a month ago, I started playing around with Mid Journey because I started thinking, um, I, I looked I had bought, well not bought, I had downloaded some AI faces. Uh, that were just little thumbnails. I think they were probably, um, oh, that one local AI, I'm forgetting the name of, um, that were generated to be used, that a lot of companies like have LinkedIn or online profiles for their AI, where they put a real face in there. And these little 512 by 512 thumbnails are just perfect for a, a little tiny, down sampled face, no one can tell they're generated by AI. So I downloaded a handful of those from an AI generation website so that I could describe the way that the characters in my second novel look. Because it just it's like I have a tangible face here. I can now describe what that face looks like and that's what my character will look like. Made the descriptions of the characters significantly more consistent and interesting and easier. At any rate, it got me interested. I did that in November got me interested in what AI could do for photographers. And the news ain't good, right? Um, AI, like for those of you who, who took a long time to switch from film to digital, uh, like now would be the time for those of you who are currently in digital to start learning AI, like really start learning how to structure a text string uh, a prompt to get the AI to generate the images that you want. And I've been experimenting with generating portrait images from AI. In fact, here are some of the images that I've had generated from AI. And like, it's good. It, you can tell, you can zoom in and you can see the things like issues where ears aren't formed correctly or there's hair growing out of like an ear or freckles look like holes. Um, Pupils are really hard for the AI to get right still. Things like that are giveaways for the AI, but those will work themselves out in time. So sooner or later, what, what you can already do with AI is take an existing image and tell the AI to extrapolate off of that image to create a new one. So if you could imagine somebody who's like, well, do I want to pay a photographer $500 or pick a number for an updated headshot or do I want to take the one I got done four years ago, throw it into an AI with a text prompt that says, make this image five years older, give me 30 different results or whatever and pick the one that looks most like me for free, right? So that's the threat to photographers. 
that it is important to start learning this new technology as a photographer now because otherwise you will be technologically left behind. AI is the future of everything technological and photography now, the digital photography I'm talking about here, is technological. Whether it's AI creating images from scratch or AI dictating the way that the camera is going to operate or improving the, the, the way that the camera operates, AI is here and technology, it's here to stay. It's only getting better. Learn how to use it in your workflow effectively. So one thing I started playing around with in the AI was I started creating textures. So like, how can I work to make textures and create overlays so I can take an image and I can put a texture overlay onto it and I can change something about the image, whether it's the, sh the shading around the hairline. Um, just creating an interesting double exposure, things like that. Artificial intelligence doesn't have to be you inputting a text string to create a portrait to sell as a portrait, to create a landscape to sell as a landscape, something like that. It can be you learning to put in a text string that will allow you to create elements that you can drop into images. So let's say you're a wedding photographer, okay, and your your couple is in your studio, you have them on the background, and you get a bunch of different photos of them with different lighting on this, this backdrop that you can easily drop out of your image, okay? Now, they wanted, they can't afford to go on a worldwide trip, but they wanted to have photos in different re locations, or they wanted to just have photos in different settings, what may be a fantasy type setting or a sci-fi type setting. And rather than building an entire set or creating models that you can drop in, it's easier just to create a sci-fi or fantasy setting in the AI string and then put your models or your, your, your paying customers into that setting so that then they can have the images they want. So AI image generation doesn't have to be something that creates finished products. It can definitely be something that creates an element that you can put into your workflow. And the big takeaway here today is that if you didn't learn the lesson from film to digital, I'm sorry, but you should have, the future and the technology of the future will always come for us. And in this case, what you really, really wanna do is get ahead of that curve by learning how to use AI in your workflow today while it's free and you can be one of the early adopters and have a multi-month or multi-year advantage over all of your competition who will pick it up in a year to three years or five years from now. Get yourself ahead of the curve for this one, everyone. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. You are still tired from summiting two 14ers this weekend, aren't you, puppy? Steinbeck did great this weekend. He summited two 14ers on a 14 and a half mile hike. It, it, it was brutal, but he, he rocked it. And he kept us from getting attacked by, well, I don't know that he kept us from getting attacked by mountain goats, but he was very aware that the mountain goats were like 10 feet away and they were very aware of him and uh, we didn't get attacked. So good on him for that.